so hello everyone welcome to programming knowledge so welcome to yet another tutorial at programming knowledge so today's tutorial is bit magic and tricks to cover the binary representation of a number so today we are going to learn about very good tricks so how we can uh, work with uh, bit magic so basically well, this is going to be a very interesting tutorial so we are going to, to uh, going to see uh, bitwise operators then how we can use them so today we are going to cover very good topics so let's get started with this so basically initially we have six bitwise operators so let's cover them uh, one by one so uh, the first bitwise operator bitwise operator so uh, the first bitwise operator we have is this and operator so this is bitwise and and operator and this is this this is bitwise and operator the next is bitwise or operator and this is this symbol so the at right, rightmost uh, the symbol at the rightmost statement is the operator we are uh, talking about so next is bitwise not operator this is bitwise not and the next is bitwise or operator so this is bitwise or uh, next is bitwise uh, right shift Okay, okay. Uh, right, right, shift, and this is this. And the next we have is bitwise left, shift. Okay, so let let us start with a very basic application. Uh, so let us start with a very very basic application. So let's start. Uh, let's take some numbers here, and I'll use and operator. So first, I'll show you a, a application of uh, bitwise and operator so this is the first application we are talking about bitwise and operator so let me perform an operation 2 and 1 so you can 2 and 1 this is 0 I'll do 4 and 1 again 0 6 and 1 again 0 3 24 and 1 again 0 500 and 1 again 0 let me take an another number 3 and 1 1 9 and 1 1 uh, 23 and 1 1 3 25 and 1 1 501 and 1 1 so you must have tell uh, what the pattern that these were all the even numbers 2 4 6 3 24 500 were all the even numbers and below it were all the odd numbers so you must have got the pattern till now that above were all the so let me i'll just quickly uh, give you a recap even 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 the bitwise resultant with and one was 0 0 0 0 this was odd 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 so bitwise result of uh, with and one was one 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 so so this was the result so we can define define even odd and so if and and one is equal to one then print so we are going to print odd we are going to print odd else what we are going to print else print even okay and we are going to take test cases here t is equal to int input then while t t is equal to t minus 1 then n is equal to int input then we take an integer input then print print even sorry uh, so we already have a print statement in the function we'll directly call it even odd of n okay so we will take some uh, five test cases here one odd two even three odd 325 odd 500 even so we had a uh, five test cases odd then again even odd odd even so this was a very basic statement uh, so this is pretty much quicker 
uh, in terms of if you have a very large number and if you want to check if it's an even and odd then you can use this bit magic uh, uh, operation okay so next trick we are going to see is so basically next trick uh, we are going to uh, see here is uh, left shift and right shift operators so let me take an integer n is equal to 32 now i would type n right shift 2 this is 8 so please keep a note of this result n right shift 2 is 8 okay let me do n left shift 2 is 128 okay never never mind we have a one we will have a new number m is equal to 200 so please keep a note of it so what was uh, i'm uh, so we'll have m right shift m right shift 3 this is 25 okay so i'll have so i'll uh, tell you the trick uh, basically right shift is divide in the power of 2 uh, uh, i'll type it i type uh, uh, i'll type it here so basically right shift right shift is divide in power of 2 and left shift is multi apply in power of 2 so this is interesting we'll check this how is how is this possible so what we are going to do so we'll see m is equal to 200 m right shift 3 is so basically what i mean m is equal to 200 and uh, uh, we are going to divide this by right shift 3 that is 2 to the power 3 which is equal to 200 divided by 8 which is equal to 25 so this is our calculation now if we take m is equal to 4 uh, 400 okay uh, m is equal to 400 and i'll do m left shift 4 which is equivalent to 400 because this is a left shift we are focusing with the multiply that is multiply in the power of 2 that is multiply this is a 2 to the power 4 so this is equal to 400 into 16 so that would be 4800 oh uh, i okay i was really sorry with the calculation so i am i was mistaken here that is 4 into 16 okay so uh, i'll correct this statement yes yes this is 6400 so basically because uh, 4 uh, 4 16s are uh, 4 into uh, 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 4 into 16 is 64 and that is 16400 because I had a 3 in the mind uh, so, some, some, uh, so really sorry for this so this is 6400 so basically so I'll, I'll take a one more example I'll take uh, a is equal to 100 so this word okay a is equal to 100 now I'll do a right shift a right shift 2 so I that is divide a divided by 2 to the power 2 that is 100 divided by 4 that is 25 it's perfectly fine now i'll do a left shift 5 that is a into 2 to the power 5 so basically which is equal into a into 32 which is equal to 100 into 32 which is equal to 3200 so i hope i'm correct this time so uh, please uh, make note of this mistake okay so this is 3200 uh, so so this was so basically left shift and right shift operators are used to uh, for the uh, if you want to divide in power of 2 you can use the right shift and if you want to multiply in power of 2 you can cho choose left shift so we can do def multiply we will define def multiply n and return n star uh, def multiply we, uh, we want, if you want to multiply a power so you can uh, let me n right shift yes 
so yeah and we in the same way we are going to define divide, divide x y return x so we can comment this statement here and for we are going to take two integers so uh, you'll uh, today i'll tell you how you can do uh, x comma y is able to map the map function allows you to take input in a separated manner int input dot split and then uh, i'll define this function as multiply by uh, multiply uh, in power of 2 so multi multiply multiply power of 2 and do, uh, divide power 2 so this would and then i'll call this function multiply power 2 x comma y and divide power 2 x comma y so so let me take one test case here then i'll take 100 then 2 so okay uh, i had written this so i need to use print here print 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 and here it is again a print So 1, 100 and 2. So when I did uh, multiply, so this was uh, multiply by 2. So so I, that is 2 into 2, 4. That 100 into 4 is equal to 400. And if I divide, divide in the power of 2, that 100 divided by uh, 2 to the power 2, that is 100 by 4 is equal to 25. So this was until now we covered how we can use bit magic. So we are going to, uh, so uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.